So as the water meanders downstream and follows this S curve, something interesting happens during high water. And that is the gold tends to be deposited somewhere upstream. We'll just call it some mysterious place called the source. That could be another placer deposit, another stream, or it could be a load deposit that's actually bordering on the stream. Or it could be a load deposit that deposits in another stream that leads to this stream. Either way, we'll just call it the source. The gold enters the stream upstream somewhere. As it enters, the water begins to interact and the gold starts following a trail that pretty much slices across these points. Now the reason why it slices across the points and it crosses the middle of the stream in between is quite simple. And that is there's some action going on in the water and how it flows that causes the gold to be swept into a nice streak. So distribution, you know, it's not quite a straight line. There will be a, a range of gold concentrations, either side of which will be relatively low, but in the middle will be quite high, high enough that a gold pan can easily pick out the pieces and it can be quite profitable if you're in one of these areas. They call this a pay streak. The pay streak primarily follows this kind of line because of how the water turns a corner. Helical flow will cause the water to to sweep the gold into neat lines. It'll also affect how cobbles and boulders form on the shoreline. Primarily, it sweeps them into nice little piles right in these areas. Hey, it's Prospector Jess here. If you want more videos like this, make sure you go on over to huntingforgold.com. That's hunting, the number four, gold.com, where we have additional videos for you only available on huntingforgold.com's site. Check it out and good prospecting.